I'm, I'm very proud that uh, I'm bringing a piece of steel back to Barnegat, where 16, 9, 11 first responders live. All right, gentlemen, it's up to us to strap our own medals. So let's look in the bucket and see what we have. Around this. Excuse me, gentlemen, one second. I think we should put the flag over Hold on one second, gentlemen. <laughs> I got emotional. I'm sorry for that, but uh, we gave our hearts and souls on 9/11 and uh, the months thereafter. I put in 497 hours at Ground Zero. <laughs> this is this is part of the rubble I was pulled out of. So that's why I just broke down a little bit. I'm sorry. And you see this? Every time I grab this, I just put it on my face. You know why? That's World Trade. That that, that could be somebody's human remains right here. See that? My hand. This hand will not get washed all day now. No, but wrap it again. Wrap it again. To get a piece of this to bring down to our hometown and have it erected over there and for everybody to see, it, it's, it's, it's a big thing. And I'm glad to be part of it. And when Charlie asked us to do this with no hesitation, I said yes. I was watching it all on TV and watched everything happen. And because of the countless lives that were lost and the lives that are being lost every day by our military boys, it's just a catastrophe that goes beyond belief and there isn't days that go by that you don't think about what happened. Present arms! <laughs>